Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time. And today I have not really a blind trailer. I actually do know what this is about. Today we're here to watch trailer number one and it has definitely been requested, but I was excited to get to it anyways. Today we're here to watch trailer number one for Fat Man on Batman. Wait, no, that's something else. If you want to see this trailer without me and my Kevin Smith re re references in the way, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out. Come on back, watch me watch this, and then we'll geek out of it together because I have a feeling this one's geek out worthy. If you want to help support the channel, if you want to help buy Mary snacks and get more stuff for us to open and games for us to play for y'all, what is that? Why am I getting an... I'll get to it. Um, you can check out the Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. You can <laughs> come on over and get an extra video every single day. Video game Let's Plays. I'm doing Star Wars Squadrons and VR over there. Uh, we got food vlog reviews, October Fest taste tests and cookouts and Mexican dinners and fire pit fun. All kinds of crazy stuff. Movie reviews and a whole lot more for as little as a dollar a month by looking up on Patreon, The Eric Butts, or use the links in the description below. I'm scatterbrained. I'm all over the place. This is the last trailer I'm shooting today. But I'll be here every single day giving you a free dose of high energy, craziness, weirdness, randomness, stress relievingness. So I'd like to remind you that we will get through this. We will get through this together. And it can be really helpful, really good for relieving the stress, really good for staying calm, remaining calm, especially in these excruciatingly nerve wracking times over the next little bit here. So let's we'll say it together. It can really help. We will get through this. We will get through this together. Okay, so that being said, Mel Gibson's fat uh, is, is <laughs> Mel Gibson is Santa Claus, and a kid puts out a hit on him. I want to see this movie already. I don't need to see the trailer. That pitch alone sold me. I know Mel Gibson as a human being, mm, but as an actor, he still got it. It's hard to deny that charisma, and he is intense and interesting. And the idea of him playing a grizzled Santa Claus that has a hit put on him by a child is a movie I need to see. So, with all that said and done, I guess it's time to watch the trailer. Have I said everything? Yeah, that's it. I just need to watch this. Let's do it. Let's watch. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've lost my influence. Maybe it's time I retired the cult. You still have it. Some kids with a deer rifle put two holes in the sleigh, one in me. All I have is a loathing for a world that's forgotten. <laughs> States military would like to procure your services. This is a one-time deal, gentlemen. How are you, Mike? Nicole and the kids are well, I hope. Where are you? Santa Claus. I'm looking for the fat man. You can't be serious. This is what people actually think of that. Christmas is a far I'm a joke. What's Christmas you busy? Hunting. I've got to kill some things. There is a rising number of our youth making poor decisions. <laughs> Man's head. So his rot be mold. And all his beard. I'm not shaving off a dead man's beard. Your workers sure have healthy appetites. My elves live much longer than humans. And Chris, we do the same. Look, it's a giving that keeps him young. <laughs> I've come for your hands, fat man! You're the first? <laughs> Think I got this job because I'm fat and jolly? Ah, I missed the dates. I'll have to go back and look. But um, yes, I need to see that as soon as I can. 
That looks great. That looks even cooler than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, I, I wish I hadn't told you anything about what it was before you went in. Hopefully you saw this trailer going in blind like I did. Well, I mean, I guess I didn't, but it would have been so much more powerful. But still, even kind of knowing made it pretty interesting up front. No one, t I knew about Mel Gibson as Santa. Nobody told me the old good old Goggs is in there, Walter Goggins. I mean, anything that guy is in, I already love. So that was an extra layer of deliciousness in this Christmas fruitcake. And um, yeah, I want to see that right now. The tone, the tone they went with, how seriously they're taking that, how committed they are to the bit. That's fantastic. A lot of the little jokes in there really land too. I think this is going to be like, Bad Santa is a movie that I'm okay with, but a lot of people really love. I think this could be my Bad Santa. This could end up being one of the movies I watch every Christmas along with Christmas Vacation and Jingle All the Way. Those are my two Christmas movies, uh, my must Christmas movies every year. But this could end up on that list because that looks so fun and messed up and different. And what a great concept. So yeah, and plus, I mean, that looks like an incredible performance from Mel Gibson as well. Love him or hate him. Watching him in his movie is always a good time as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, 100% in. Fat Man, cannot wait for that. How do you all feel about it? Are you anywhere near as excited as I am? Did you know about it? Were you surprised that I ruined the surprise? Sorry. Uh, are you super excited? Let me know. Geek out and tell me what you're getting me for Christmas. That too. Uh, maybe a Patreon subscription. You're going to join my Patreon for Christmas. There you go. Uh, let me know. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged if you want to. Check out the Patreon. Look up the Eric Butts. Use the links in the description below. Don't forget that we will get through this. We will get through this together because we need to see that freaking movie. And with all that said and done, I'm going to get out of here and start being nice so I don't get coal in my stocking. I'm always nice. Who are we kidding? 99% of the time I'm nice. <laughs> I have my moments. All right. I'm going to get out of here so I can go watch some more stuff. And I'll see you all later.